when I first released Cauliflower around two and a bit years ago, I think now, I really honestly never thought it would do as well as it has done. In the last two years, we've been featured on both CNC Kitchen and Hackaday. It's been consistently one of the most popular store files on printables. We hit three and a half thousand downloads on our free week on Fangs. We've helped loads of community members and businesses alike improve their print quality. And alongside many kind donations from the community, helped me stay afloat during my troubles with cancer last year. I'm honestly so glad that it's been so beneficial for so many people. But now it's time for the next step. Today, I want to share with you the new Cauliflower Calculator, run through some of the new features that we've added and show you how you can get started with it straight away. So this right here is what the new Cauliflower Calculator looks like. The first thing you'll notice is that it's no longer in Excel, which I'm sure is gonna be a huge relief for many of you because let's be honest, Excel is not the greatest format for doing this. So now we have a purpose-made calculator. This obviously solves quite a few little issues with the previous version. For example, we now don't have to change language settings for different decimal separators in different countries, which is a big bonus. We added these collapsible steps, which help keep things kind of step by step. And we also added an import and export feature to allow you to kind of save your results for later. I think you'll also be happy that there's no longer a PDF full of instructions. We took the most important information out of that PDF and put it all into the calculator in exactly the places that you need it. So there's no more switching between documents or reading loads and loads of text. It's more concise and exactly where you need it. If you do need additional information, we've added hyperlinks. So you click on those and it scrolls you to the FAQ at the bottom, which gives you more information on whatever item you selected. One of my favorite features is the new slicer and firmware content filters. So basically you select the firmware and slicer that they use, and then all the instructions that you see are specifically only relevant to your firmware and slicer. So no more reading long paragraphs of instructions only to realize when you get to the end that is actually not applicable to you. Now you only see the bits that you need for your specific configuration. Mwah. From over 12 years of 3D printing, I've learned quite a lot of jargon and I'm sure you've picked up plenty of it too. But for beginners, it can be quite daunting to enter this calculator and see all these technical terms and it can feel quite isolating and very difficult to get hold of. So now instead of having to deep dive every word that you don't fully understand, we've added, again, additional helping information within the calculator, hyperlinks and stuff, either to external sources, which help explain it like main cell, what is a main cell, what is main cell? You click it, it takes you to the site, explanations. In a similar way that the technical terminology can seem quite daunting, the shape of cauliflower can be quite confusing until you're familiar with it. So when it comes to taking measurements, it can look sort of symmetrical, but it's not quite. So that can lead to taking measurements in the wrong place. It didn't happen very often. We obviously had the numbered diagrams, but even then it's not that easy. So what we've added now is this fully controllable 3D view. It all kind of rotates and spins and stuff. So that allows you to kind of see where the cauliflower should be relative to you, relative to the calipers, and where to measure with the calipers. Not only that, but it animates from step to step. So it's not just kind of instantly gonna turn it to where it needs to be. It will show you how to rotate the cauliflower, which direction to put it, and where to put the calipers to make sure you get it the same every time. And we made sure that the calipers always face you because rotating both together is sort of pointless because you need to be able to read the calipers. The final feature focus for today is one aspect which I think many struggled with, and that's understanding the results, expectations, and limitations of calibration. Well, in like a theoretical world, we can have like perfect repeatability and precision. Everything's exactly what you want it to be. But in reality, nothing is like that. No machined part, no tool can measure precisely exactly what it should be. In fact, I'd recommend checking out Adam Savage's epiphany on the science of measurement, uh, which is like a really good insight into metrology. And you can kind of see his realization of there is no such thing as a true measurement. So yeah, I recommend going and watching that once you get to the end of this video. So obviously the question from that is how good is good enough and how good is yours? So what we've done here is added these nice colored indicative bar charts for the various output results. And these will give you a little indicator arrow of where you sit on that chart. 
so you can understand if you're like bad, good, or nearly perfect. So with that, without any prior information, you can know if your results are good or if they're bad and can maybe do with some improvement. I'll leave you to enjoy the discovery of the other little features and stuff that we've added. For now, let's move on to how you can get hold of it. For accessing Califlower, as before, you can do that at vector3d.shop. Very, very easy. But now we are switching over to an annual subscription model, which I understand some people might not like, but hear me out, it's not as bad as you think. Firstly, I want to make abundantly clear that it's not going to be one of those shitty subscription models that tries to take money that you didn't want to give. For a start, you can cancel any time and you retain like access for the rest of the period. Secondly, we have options for no auto renew. So if you just want to get for one year, there's no auto renew at the end. We're not going to try and encourage you to buy something that you didn't want to get. If your decision is you want it for a year and then to stop, that's what you get. And there's no auto renew at the end. Thirdly, if we ever take a payment that you didn't expect and you've not used the calculator since the time where we took that payment, then you get a straight refund. If you've not used what you paid for, it doesn't matter. You can have the money back. Don't worry about it. That's that. And of course, it should be a bleeding obvious, but there are no cancellation fees because what the flip is a cancellation fee? You've paid for the thing. If you don't want the thing, you don't have to pay to not have the thing as well as pay to have the thing. What are cancellation fees? So yes, no cancellation fees. When it comes to pricing, it is going up a little bit, but not really a lot, I don't think. Payments are annual, so you do get, in my opinion, quite a lot of like time usage where you can use it for quite a small payment. We also have discounting payments available. So after the first year payment, you get a discount for every subsequent year. Like it stays the same. So it's like price A and then price B stays the same. Everything after the first year. We also use grandfather pricing scheme. So the price that you pay when you start your subscription will remain the same. Any changes to that price will not be applicable to you. There's also a discount for existing Califao users as a bit of a thank you. So for anyone that's purchased before today, you get 50% discount on the first year of the new Califlower. While you're on that subscription, of course, you get all the updates, bug fixes and everything as soon as they're available. And you can access pretty much any time from anywhere. It's not particularly compatible on small mobile devices. There's like lots of data input and 3D views that just didn't really work very well on a small device. So larger screen devices would be preferable. For the current version of Califlower, I will continue, continue to provide support for a few months from this video's date. But after that, I won't be providing additional support. There won't be updates or changes to that calculator anymore. However, of course, it is just an Excel file at the end of the day. There is no like remote back door to turn everything off. So it will just continue to work exactly as it has done. So of course, on that basis, you can just keep using it as much as you like, but hopefully you'll like the improved usability and features of the new calculator version, and maybe you'll be interested in getting that. Almost lastly, there is a small issue of people that purchased from printables. Obviously, I don't have like the specific record of those at the moment. So if you purchase from printables and you do want the discount, then I'm sorry, but you do have to probably wait a bit longer as we try and work out how that will work. I can't promise at the moment because like there are rules with data sharing and stuff. So we may not be able to do it. Of course, you can go buy it at any time. You just might not get the discount. I do apologize if that's the case that we can't manage to do that, but I will be working to try and get that sorted so that anyone that has purchased in printables will still get the new discount on the new version on my shop. Thank you everyone for watching and for your patience while we've been trying to get this released. Happy calibrating, and I'll see you in the next one.